like to introduce Brother Larry Holmes. Thank you, Jerry. Sisters and brothers, you know, my job is to demonstrate. So I've been to many of them. But I can tell you honestly that I, I can't remember the last time I was this proud. Yeah, where you been? To be with you, demonstrating against these thieves, against these robber bands over there at the Rent Center. And I just hope that somehow the word gets out. We'll get it out. You know, the corporate media is not the only media on the internet. You know, we have a little bit of it too. So that people in Michigan, people all over the world can see that this fight is not over. Because that's the impression. That's the impression they want to give you. It's over. The plants are closing. All the unions crush. The workers are demoralized. Everybody's just crying, hanging their head down low, and it's over. And the bankers have won. But when you marched over there, in the sunlight, in the light of day, looking powerful, some of you still have your jobs in order. Some of you are laid off, you're going back in a week or two. Some of you are retired. And equally important, equally important, some of you from the community, and some of you are just some revolutionary activists who just want to be on the good, in the good fight. And you come from all over. And when you're over there, you set the message to those robbers. It ain't over. It ain't over. It hasn't even begun. And I can tell you, I can tell you that in its own way, that protest was historic. It was so necessary, so righteous, strategic, critical, whatever else good you can say about it, that you were over there. And you should know, I don't have to tell you because you know enough to know it. They're in there planning more layoffs. They're in there saying, we got to become more competitive. We think we busted that union, let's go after another union. Say that, come on. Let's take some more money out of education and health care and give it back to corporations and the rich people in tax breaks. That's what they're talking about. Yes, they are. That's what that summit of robber barons and criminals is all about. But we showed them that we're on the case. They can run, they can hide, but they're within our sights. This stuff is just beginning. Let me just end by saying two things, and I'm glad a number of people have spoke to it. Complicated, difficult issue, but it's important that we discuss it openly because we can't get this wrong. We got to get it right. Let's not be pitted against each other. Let's not be pitted against each other. Consider the logic of it, sisters and brothers. If they can pit us against workers in Mexico or workers in Asia, our work is anywhere. If that works, then tomorrow they'll pitch you against workers in Ohio. Yes, they will. They'll pitch, you know, there's a, there's a big auto industry in the South. What are, what are we going to be? The Midwest against, against the South? Where does it end? It's a dead end. It's a trap. And it's called pit them against each other so they won't unite. You know, globalization is not just for the capitalists, it's for the workers too. When they say globalize, we say globalize. They can globalize against us, we can globalize our unity and solidarity. We don't want to go back, we want to go forward. And lastly, about our president. And this is complicated too. Let's try to handle it right. Made history, first African American, wonderful name, rolls off your tongue like butter, Barack Hussein Obama. You can't help but being a little proud that you got a president with that name. And it looks like this fella. And yes, yes we can, we did it. 
But it's clear now that a president, even a president that's made history, listen up y'all, is no substitute for a mass movement. And there may be some of us out there who still think that, oh, we did it, we elected Barack Obama, now he'll do it. He'll protect us. It's not true. It's not true. I hope that Barack Obama finds out about this demonstration because he's been listening too much to Wall Street. He's been listening too much to the CEOs. And consequently, he's doing too much in their favor against us. And it's time that he know that we are here. And if he doesn't listen to us, yes, we can again. Yes, we can again. Yes, we can. And I'm not talking about waiting for the next elections. Yes, we can keep these plan opens another way. Yes, we can fight for jobs. Yes, we can stop these foreclosures. Yes, we can again. Matter of fact, we should fool around with some new slogans that sort of capture Talk about it. capture the excitement and the potential that everybody felt during that election during that election. We elected him. And that was yes we can, but it ain't over. You know what we did over there? Yes we can again. And we gotta continue doing some yes we can again, again. until the workers and the communities have the power, have the power to stop the greedy, vulture, racist, war-mongering bankers and CEOs who would burn us and burn our homes down to make a buck. It's not gonna happen. Yes, we can again and again and again.